standing on the shore I seen a big chief there Standing on the shore You guys ready? Everyone ready over there? Yes. Okay. Our next guest is uh, certainly uh, well remembered as the guitarist and principal songwriter for the band and uh, his new album, which, by the way, we listened to up in the office this afternoon. Terrific. Very enjoyable. Really very entertaining music. Uh, has been, uh, this, by the way, nominated for two Grammys. Well, don't take my word for it, for heaven's sakes. Looks has been nominated for awards. Uh, <laughs> The album is called Storyville. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the program, Robbie Robertson. Uh, Robbie! <laughs> Robbie Robertson is back here. That sounded, that sounded great, and I think... Was that the first time we've had choreography on the show for, the, for a was, musical act? It certainly was. Very yeah. exciting. You put down your instruments and you guys just march. Robbie Robertson is back here. That sounded, that sounded great. And I think, was that the first time we've had choreography on the show for, the, for a was, musical act? It certainly was. Very yeah. exciting. You Robbie Robertson, songwriter and lead guitarist, said this before death. Peace, Dove. Singer, songwriter and guitarist Robbie Robertson, best known as a member of the band, died on Wednesday in Los Angeles at the age of 80. He had suffered from a long illness, according to a statement released by his management. Robertson's manager of 34 years, Jared Levine, wrote, Robbie was surrounded by his family at the time of his death, including his wife, Janet, his ex-wife, Dominique, her partner Nicholas, and his children Alexandra, Sebastian, Delphine and Delphine's partner Kenny. He is also survived by his grandchildren Angelica, Donovan, Dominic, Gabriel, and Serafina. In lieu of flowers, the family asked that donations be made to the Six Nations of the Grand River to support a new Woodland Cultural Center. Among those to pay tribute were Martin Scorsese, who directed The Last Waltz, the 1978 documentary about the band, and remembered Robertson as one of my closest friends, a constant in my life and my work. I could always go to him as a confidant. A collaborator. I try to be the same for him, Scorsese wrote. Long before we ever met, his music played a central role in my life, me and millions and millions of other people all over this world. The band's music, and Robbie's own later solo music, seem to come from the deepest place at the heart of this continent, its traditions and tragedies and joys. It goes without saying that he was a giant, that his effect on the art form was profound and lasting, there's never enough time with anyone you love. And I loved Robbie. Neil Diamond tweeted that the music world lost a great one with the passing of Robbie Robertson, while Stephen Stills remembered him as always kind and generous. E Street Band musician Stevie Van Zant remembered him as a good friend and a genius and an underrated brilliant guitar player adding greatly to Bob Dylan's best tour and best album. Born in Toronto on July 5, 1943, Robertson learned music from his mother's side of the family, who were Mohawk and lived on the Six Nations of the Grand River Reserve. As a teenager, he linked up with Ronnie Hawkins and his band The Hawks on the Bar Circuit in Toronto. In 1965, a year after their split with Hawkins, Robertson and his fellow bandmates, drummer Lee Von Helm, bassist Rick Danko, pianist Richard Manuel, and organist Garth Hudson, were recruited by Bob Dylan as a backing band during his pivot to non-acoustic music, including his famed electric set at the 1965 Newport Folk Festival. Renamed the band, the group released their debut album Music from Big Pink in 1968 and followed up with such hits as The Wait, The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down, Up on Cripple Creek and It Makes No Difference. Music from Big Pink as well as subsequent albums The Band, 1969, and Stage Fright, 1970, combined barroom rock with the American New Folk Revival, and became critical and commercial successes. The band's music influenced such contemporaries as Eric Clapton and George Harrison as well as a generation of American roots musicians. Robertson continued to work on side projects with former band members, as well as a solo artist in the subsequent decades. He released his self-titled debut in 1986 and his sophomore record, Storyville, 
In 1991, and contributed to records by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Ringo Starr, Neil Diamond and others. Robertson released his final solo album, Cinematic, in 2019.